Welcome to my final sustainability challenge project. And incidentally, the first time I realized I had misspelled sustainability on this card for the others. Oh, well, for this category, it was called retro. And I knew I wanted to use a bunch of different plaids, a bunch of different flannels from like the 90s grunge, but do a very different look from grunge. Instead of it being loose and slumpy, I wanted to do something really tailored and clean. So I bought about mm, six to eight shirts at my local thrift store. And here you can see I'm just taking them apart and then looking at them as materials. So those are a pile of backs, the fronts are separate, collars, cuffs, pockets. And from here I can start planning and envisioning, okay, what is going to work for a bodice? What's going to work for a skirt? So I knew I wanted to do princess seams to really take advantage of all of these different smaller like sleeve and front placket pieces. Uh, and I found that really fun simplicity pattern that also had a really unique sleeve attachment. So here I am, I'm really just following the instructions at this point, sewing my princess seams and I'm making a lining out of some scrap cotton fabric that I had in my stash. Those are the back darts. I'm going to do the sleeves and the armhole face things later. Um, a couple things to be aware of if you do decide to do a project repurposing flannels or plaids is one, be wary of the different gives in the fabric. All of the plaids are going to have a different weave, a different weight, and there's not a lot you can do about it. You should just be aware of it. And two, because there's no quote unquote right or wrong side, you're going to want to mark it for yourself when it comes to the sleeves, because this is actually where I mess up and I'm not able to finish in time to turn in. Now we are in my sad screen. Uh, what happened is I essentially sewed two of the same sleeve because I hadn't marked out which side was right and which was wrong. So um, yeah, I just, I had to redo that sleeve. There was no way to really fix it and I didn't finish in time. But I did decide, you know, I've already processed all of these shirts. I don't want to waste it, especially for a sustainability project. I'll just go ahead and finish for myself. So this is me sewing the sleeves to the bodice. Um, and it's, it, again, it's a really interesting pattern. It comes, the two sleeves meet at a point at the front and in the back. And in a moment, I'm going to sandwich that uh, between the lining layer. There it is. So that when the lining gets turned inside, it's going to hide all of those raw edges and create a really nice seam. I then took about six different cuffs and sewed two to the shoulders and two to the end of the sleeve. And I really liked that effect. Now I'm gonna do the skirt and the pattern calls for a circle skirt, but I think a gathered skirt is gonna work better just to use all of my different plaid pieces. So um, I'm really just kind of freehand playing around with different ones. I'm cutting off the space under the underarms so that I have different um, just panels that I can piece together. And later I will also cut off the tops so that they're all even and testing out which colors look good with which. Um, then I go and I sew down the button plaques so that they won't open up and um, sew each panel to each. Those edges are finished, but I'm not worrying about uh, making sure the hem stays the same. I think it'll look cool with an uneven hem at the bottom. I then repeat the same process for the back and I edge finish the top so that there you can see I have one big panel for the front and one for the back. Uh, I also did cut pockets out of scraps that I had. It's kind of silly to add pockets when there were so many still attached to the shirt fronts on the actual skirt, but why not? Who doesn't need more pockets? Um, then it's time to add gathering stitches along the front and back, being sure not to put it through the pocket, although I think I do on this one accidentally. And then sew the side seams starting below that gathering point. Uh, the reason is that you want to gather the front and the back separately just because it's a lot of bulk. Those, fa those flannels, those plaids are really thick and things like the button plackets are even thicker. So keeping them separate front and back really helps. After I gather it, it is time to pin it to the bodice and attach the skirt to the top. So the trickiest part of this is just that it's a lot of bulk. You could see I hit my tripod earlier. It's getting in the way of my camera even. Um, so I think I stitched it twice, once with a basting stitch and then once again, just to make sure everything was clean and held. I'm not quite so concerned about making sure the gathering is even because there's all these different uh, patterns, but still want to make sure that there's a lot of connection there. I've tried on the dress and I'm really liking how it's coming together. So it's time to put in the back zipper. This is a tricky step no matter what I think. I mean, zippers will always give me trouble, 
but uh, it's particularly hard when there's so much bulk to work through your machine and when those different plaids, again, they have different stretch, they have different give depending on the weave of it and depending on how worn they were when you got it. So you wanna make sure to have plenty of pins or zipper tape, something where it's not gonna shift around as you are installing it. And after that, you're gonna turn the lining to the inside and either restitch over your stitching or hand stitch it in place uh, and then fold the bottom of the lining up. And here you can see I am stitching in the ditch on the outside to catch that lining and make sure it doesn't shift around. All that's left at this point is to do any embellishments. And for me, that was the two crossed arms at the waist. And I ended up adding some collar pieces to each side of the top just to tie into that 90s grunge. Here's the finished product. I didn't get to turn it in, but I did wear it to the photo shoot and I really love the way it turned out.